It pains me to say this as a Brit, but Britain is annoying. Not only did we conquer most of the world and subject countless millions to the horrors of colonialism, the stealing of their national treasures, but worst of all, British cuisine. But nowadays, we still subject you to stuff like this. But what if there was a better way? A way in which Europeans didn't have to look across the pond and hear Brexit means Brexit. What if we could wipe Britain out from the annals of history before they even get going? Well, what better nation to achieve this goal than the old enemy? No, of course not Scotland. I mean France. So today, Britain better watch out because we're coming with baguettes and worst of all, seasoning. Oh, and cannons. Yeah, a few. A few cannons as well. <laughs> and if you do enjoy this video, guys, please do consider subscribing. And of course, 150 likes. And we are going to do a Cheeky French Part 2. So stay tuned to find out how this goes. Uh -huh. What is this? The great city of Paris. But across the water, the Britannos buffs. They look at us with disdain. It is time to take them out. Yes, I'm going to stop doing that now. You'll be happy to know <laughs> that was horrible, horrible, horrible. But we're going to take out Britain today, guys. Leave them a speck of their former selves. Yes, so uh, we have an army-ish. But uh, let's, uh, <laughs> let's get a few troops. Yeah, th these... Th that, that should be enough, my friends. <laughs> We've also got a navy, but uh, we're going to use that in a second. Um, but yeah, glorious. Let's go and take out Britain. Canada for Croatia? Not really something I'm interested in, my friends. <laughs> well, that's great. Well, United Provinces, it's cute and all that you do want to, uh, you know, tussle with us, but... We've got our eyes on a slightly different target today, I've got to say. Well, World War One is about to start, but we're going the other way. Let's go, boys. There we go. Uh, naval battle? Mm, do I want to do a naval battle? No, let's be honest. <laughs> Absolutely not. No. I think this has caused a bit of a chain reaction, honestly. <laughs> Everyone's at war with each other now, which is, uh, you know... World War One can start, my friends, you know, a few hundred years before it actually starts. But, well, here it goes, guys. The Siege of London. Yes. Lots of firelock armed. Oh, my God. Britain. <laughs> this is what you defend London with, really? Of course, you're going to refuse to surrender. Let's go. Oh, wow. I never knew London was a little hamlet. Look at that. Wow. Fun fact, guys. That's actually 10 Downing Street. Right there. And if you look a little bit further, that's Westminster Abbey. And we've got Buckingham Palace, guys. Wow. Look at the beautiful architecture of Buckingham Palace. What a beautiful palace. I, I can understand why everyone wants to visit this place when it looks like that. I think we're going to do this French style. <laughs> and if there's one thing the French love, of course, it's artillery. Not sure how they see through those trees, but uh, yeah. Known for their aim, apparently. Let's go, boys. I think this particular artillery troop didn't like some of the cavalry. Um, <laughs> well done, Britain. Great job. Oh, monsieur. The British cavalry are running straight past the cannons. Fire. Come on, men. Fire. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing, bro. Oh, that was a great shot, anyway. <laughs> well done. Here we go, into the cavalry fight. I think we might win that one, I'm not going to lie. Fire, men! Fire! Some point today, please, men! Fire, maybe? Fire? <laughs> Fire? Okay, the other guy's got two volleys off before you did. Yeah, that that's not so good for you guys. What is happening over here? Like, what is this? Sir, we seem to be painting the wrong way. The enemy's over there, sir. <laughs> well, forward, men. There's surely some hiding behind these bushes. <laughs> what are they doing, bro? <laughs> what are they doing? 
Oh, dear. Oh, the AI does always amuse me in this game. <laughs> there we go, boys. And, of course, the melee is, as usual, as broken as ever. Pretty good charge, to be fair, but that is a good volley from them, too. So, let's keep going. These guys, just calm down, bro. Calm down. Calm down. And the mass charges of the citizens and the militia. Not sure my guys are going to be too scared about that. They will be scared about the regiment of horse, though. God damn it. <laughs> this cavalry just keeps coming out of nowhere, bro. Nowhere. <laughs> Some good charges from them, though, I've got to say. Good charges in general. And here we go. It's just all melee charges. This is what the AI wants to do. Fine. I don't mind. <laughs> Whether we can win this through melee charges, though, I, I don't know because they have overwhelming numbers here. They have a lot of numbers. They do. They have had a lot of people rout, though, already. How are we doing as a regiment? Oh, we've absolutely shredded them. Time for a good mass charge, guys, of lancers, of all things. So this should be pretty juicy, to be fair. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yes. Here we go. Straight into the back of those boys. Nice, absolutely, oh my god, absolutely devastated them there. And that glorious left flank has prevailed, my friends. Very nice indeed. We still do have a big blob over there, but our cavalry should pay heed to those fools. Let's go, men. Let's go. There they go, running away once again. They cannot stand the French cavalry. You know, I always say uh, that's a spicy meatball <laughs> on this channel, guys. <laughs> What's the French equivalent? Is it? That's a big baguette. That's a big baguette. Mm. Yeah, we'll, st we'll stick with it. We'll stick with it. <laughs> go on, Cav. Let's go. <laughs> Charge the foul British once again. Yes. Glorious. Glorious. Yes. Ah, uh, men are starting to rout. Get back in line, you cowards. Back in line. Come on, men. No more routing. It's not allowed. It's not allowed in our army, okay? <laughs> Let's go for that charge, guys. Straight in there to the firelock armed citizenry. Bada bing, bada boom, my friends. Bada bing, bada boom. Can we break them? That is the question. Come on, men. Hold on. Hold. Hold, men. There's been some brave men here, I've got to say. That's their general broken. Nice. Very nice indeed, in fact. Anyone else coming back? Oh, you guys have come back. Glorious! God damn it, the lines are breaking, my friends. The lines are breaking. If we can kill that general, we're really going to be in a stronger position. At the minute, we're a bit screwed with those lines there. So I am considering going back to the goddamn cannons. Not ideal, but we are now behind the lines with the cavalry. So that's going to help out. Do we have enough to see this through, though, guys? I do not know. Well, it seems that AI is doing a classic Empire Total War thing of just being really confused by everything that's in front of it. So, <laughs> we'll take advantage of that, no doubt indeed. We're going to fire down on these guys as much as possible and see if we can break a couple of them before charging them in the back, hopefully. But whether it works or not, I don't know. We are very, very precariously perched here now. Well, he's turned to face us, the fool. What is he doing? He is surely a lunatic. If we kill him, the rest of the army surely is going to crumble. I mean, I hope so. <laughs> I really do hope so. Whether it does or not, it's a completely different question. <laughs> so, uh, yep, let's fire on them. How are we doing there, guys? Let's kill this guy. Competence even. Come on, bro. Come on. Really? After a charge from the boys? Really? Even? Mm, not so sure on that one. And it is done, guys. The general is dead. Oh, we just took a volley for that, though. Oh, dear. This is getting rather, rather close, I've got to say. Closer than I would like. But there we go. Enemy general killed. What was the general? It was John Churchill. And he's dead. Very good. Well, it looks like the final hurrah for the British is coming. This guy is still routing. Don't think they're going to come back, so we are just going to keep firing on them, seeing if we can break a couple of them before we even reach our lines. I'm going to try bring the cavalry round to fight them too, and ignore the pikemen for now. 
Um, so yeah, let's see whether this works. It's been a finely tuned battle. Very close indeed, guys. I did not expect the British to put up such a fight, but they did have overwhelming numbers, of course, and that counts for a lot in this game, doesn't it? But we are bringing glory for the baguette. Glory for the French. Let's go. And there we go, boys. They all broke against our lines. That is glorious. Now all we need to do is get rid of this regiment of foot pikemen, which unfortunately we can't charge. <laughs> I wonder why. Imagine this, guys. If this actually happened in real life, the French invaded Britain, landed on the shores, got past the Royal Navy. This final unit of pikemen, they'd be known as like the last pikemen of England or something crazy like that. Maybe they can beat us still, but yeah, the last pikemen of England charging the glorious French. We do have to be careful here, guys, because melee is so broken in this game. <laughs> like, if they, they could charge and just kill all of our men and <laughs> just rout them straight away. So hopefully we have enough from these volleys. Let's go. I'm glad I managed to remember to put fire, of will on, <laughs> fire at will on. But no, yes, glorious England. And Wales, of course, is now ours. Yes! Uh, well, that seems to be why we struggled a little bit. <laughs> 5,400 men. No wonder we lost 1,700. God damn, that is insane. <laughs> yes! Well, what are we going to do next, guys? I think, obviously, the answer is to, to ferry more troops across it. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. If you want to ask yourself, would the English be happy ruled by the French? Um, <laughs> I guess that answers that question. Ah, yes. The famous plug bayonet that stops our men being able to fire. What a fantastic invention. Stick a big stabby thing in the end of your gun and then stab them with it. Basically making them pikemen. Great. <laughs> well, now we've got some fresh troops on the shores of England, guys. Let's march forth. Let's bring the pikemen with us. And let's bring some of these boys that were damaged in the last battle. But I don't think England's got too much to offer, guys. <laughs> uh, well, it seems, you know, half a year under French rule that they are... Uh... <laughs> not, not too happy, so... Yeah, time time to get the boys in, I guess. Get the boys. Ah, uh, Louis the 14th has died, guys. Louis the 15th, then, I'm guessing, is uh, our new king. Let's have a look. Yeah, Louis the 15th. Yeah, I think your son's going to be fantastic, my friend. He's going to be a, a great man. <laughs> If you want to ask yourself what the glorious and fabled British Navy's been doing this whole time, um, hiding in Scotland. Yep, hiding in Scotland. <laughs> and there we go, guys. It only takes a couple of turns and a garrison of, you know, 10,000 men to make the upper class feel neutral about the French, you know? They're, they're, they're all right with the French, but, you know, the lower classes and middle classes... Not so happy about eating baguettes over, you know, pies and pasties and mushy peas. Well, it seems Louis the 15th is, um, enjoying himself. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I don't like the size of that garrison, but, uh, <laughs> if they wanna, you know, if they want me to take Scotland, they're gonna have to come and fight me, bro. They're gonna have to come and fight me. I ain't scaling the walls of that castle, I tell you that. I tell you that for free. And it looks like they've come down the from the walls of Edinburgh Castle to come and attack us. Um, it's a lot of militia again, so it might be quite difficult. And they actually do have some cavalry. And we don't quite have canister shot yet, but let's see, guys. Let's see. So here goes nothing, guys. We've got a bit of a, uh, a V formation. Try and funnel them in. It really does depend on what they do, though, so... Let's see what they do. Hopefully, we can fire on the enemy quite well, but we shall see. Well, here goes the U men. I did kind of miss this, guys. I was looking at the right hand flank. Um, didn't I tell you to attack? Okay, they've got the glitch where they don't attack if they're uh, selected together. 
It's a little bit weird, but uh, I think we'll be okay. Hopefully that doesn't break our cannons. I do like the fact... Oh, we've missed it again. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Regiment of horse as well. These are good guys. These are good guys. That's big brain play. It's big brain play. I do find it very strange that AI always just tries this crazy, like, flanking maneuvers on you. Like, never seems to work too well. I am a bit scared by those pikemen, though. So we are going to bring our pikemen up this way as well. Because it looks like they are just going for the classic charging and hope tactic that they used last time. You guys attack the pikemen. Come on, guys, run! For God's sake, how are you wavering already? Concerned because you're under fire. Let's try and kill those broken guys. Let's go. Shouldn't be under fire for too much longer. Should be okay. There we go. Kill that citizenry. No problem whatsoever. Very nice. Repelling the lines, guys. Repelling the lines. Here we go. Into the militia. They were just broken. So that's a little bit scary. They've, they've unlocked square formation already, bro. That's pretty good. Fair play. Fair play to the Brits, huh? Fair play to them. Oh, that's their artillery. <laughs> And our cannons are going, friends. Our cannons are going. Let's go for that re regiment of militia one more time. And then whoever comes close, we're going to have to go for the old charge. Come on, boys. Charge. Glorious charge. Fix bayonet, boys. Fix bayonet. Let's go. And let's charge into that militia as well. Bang. A bit of boom. Charges all along the line, my friends. All along the line. Our charge is on this side. Their charge is on the other. Let's go. Let's break this militia. Come on. Come on, men. Let's go. Nice little charge into the militia again. Very nice indeed. Oh, it's glorious sight to see, isn't it, my friends? The lines are being repelled everywhere. Here we come, boys. Straight in the charge there. There we go. No troops left. This is all they have left, guys. This is all that they have left. All right, let's get out of there with our cav. We don't need to be wasting those ones, especially our general, our glorious general. <laughs> let's get into the fight with those guys, though. Very nice indeed. And, yeah, they've, they've got nothing left, mate. They've got absolutely nothing left. I've got nothing left. I've got nothing left. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just running rampant now boys we're just running rampant through the armies let's go straight in there boys straight in there we've killed their general or got rid of him at least there we go boys let's go the final charges the final charge everyone is breaking what a glorious sight to see my friends here comes the charge there we go Anyone left, anyone at all that wants to fight, come and have a go if you think you're hard enough, boys. Come and have a go. There we go. Glorious victory. And again, they had an obscene amount of men, but a glorious victory nonetheless. Well, I hope this auto-resolve does us justice here. There we go. Fantastic. Scotland is now ours. Do you know something? We don't mess with the fucking Scots. And of course... Scotland's happy to be ruled by the French. <laughs> Not England, though. Just Scotland. Yes, of course. Old friends, I know. But uh, <laughs> a funny one, nonetheless. Well, don't mind me just putting down another bloody British rebellion, huh? There we go. <laughs> don't rebel anymore, guys. Don't rebel anymore. It's naughty, okay? It's very naughty. And look at that. We can even leave Scotland and they're still happy. What glorious people the Scots are, of course. <laughs> glorious, glorious people. Um, and now we're just going to go and take uh, the last one. Yes, yes. Very good. I think this, uh, this militia can see what's coming. And it's like, please take me away. <laughs> please. Not the French. Anything but the French. God damn you, Netherlands, you're stealing my spices. We need them for beautiful dishes and, you know, French stuff, of course. Come on. Well, it seems we're going to be starving out Dublin, which I think just proves, you know, we're probably just as bad as the British, huh? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. The British Navy wasn't hiding in Scotland. It was hiding in Ireland. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> Um, 
Savoy's declared war on us. That's great. Enjoy fighting all of those enemies, Savoy. Well, time to be about our bloody business, my friends. In fact, I don't even feel bad about this. We are basically liberating these people, you know. We are liberating Ireland, and this time, we're gonna keep it whole. Wholly owned by France. Well, goddamn, Dublin is bigger than London, it would seem. Look at this. <laughs> what a glorious city. Sir, I think the lines are a little bit thinner on one side than the other. <laughs> Oh, these guys. They've seen a bit of fighting, these guys, it seems. Honestly, guys, I don't think this is one for muskets. So, uh, yeah, yeah, we're doing it. Come on, boys. Let's go. <laughs> Charge, men. <laughs> That's loud. Come on, man. Let's liberate these people and give them the baguette. Yes, come on. Glorious charge, man! They didn't hear they got one guy fired. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Come on, boys. Let's go. Come on. Come on. In there, all of you. All you cowards. Get in there. Glorious. Sir, I think we might be facing the wrong way. <laughs> really? Really, boy? Really think we're facing the wrong way, do you? Well, let's see, shall we? Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go, boys. They're running. Running like the scared little children they are. For the liberation of these isles to the true baguette. Yes, let's go. And a glorious victory there, my friends. Glorious. And there we have it, guys. <laughs> yes. Glorious. Great Britain is destroyed. How many turns did it take us to do it in? Ten turns. And that's all. And yes, now if we look on the world map, you will see that Calcutta is Maratha Rebels. If we go across to here, we do still have the 13 colonies, of course, because they... Start out independent. But let's have a look at the Caribbean. We've got pirates. Did they just all turn into pirates? How about Bahamas? Yes, they did. They great. That has just given the pirates the biggest boost they've ever seen. <laughs> Georgia turned into the Cherokee Nations, or, or already was. But yes, glorious. The stain of Britain is removed in history, my friends. What a glorious, glorious result. And if you did enjoy this video, guys, of course, 150 likes. And we'll do a part two where we turn, turn Europe into our own little playground. We've got some spicy little plans for that one. So make sure you get us to 150 likes. And if you did enjoy, guys, a subscribe would be massively appreciated. And a membership as well, if you can afford it. But thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure as always, and I will see you all again on the next baguette.